Welcome, this is Somaliland National Television and I am Mohamed Adin presenting the English news from my studio in Argeza. Let's take a look at the top world headlines at this moment. <laughs> Members of Cabinet attend an event organized by Sonia. An event held in the capital of Somaliland, Hargeisa, to discuss ways of reducing maternal and child mortality rates. The event had an attendance officials of the Ministry of Health, Health Service Providers and a wide array of guests. Prisoner exchange boots Ukraine peace deal. <laughs> Members of Cabinet, youth representatives and political figures attended an event held in Hargeisa designed to commemorate the popular youth-led uprising against the toppled regime of Siad Barre. Renowned political figures and members of cabinet spoke at the ceremony, urging collectively that the new head of Sonia portray commitment resembling his predecessors to ensure more progress toward the objective sought. It was in the 1980s when youth took to the streets of Hargeisa to protest against the cruelty of the regime of Siad Barre. It subsequently led to an uprising it erupted to oust the repressive regime. Minister of Youth, Sports and Tourism Ali Saeed Regal commended the efforts exerted in youth progress by the preceding youth leaders and pledged support on behalf of the government for the current youth leader and Sonio as a whole. Renowned politicians at the ceremony included the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Abdirahman Abdullah Iro, who corroborated the significance, the significant task that youth as the future leaders of this nation should participate in taking the nation forward and helping secure a proper prosperous life for the future generations to come. An event held in the capital of Somaliland, Hargeisa, to discuss ways of reducing maternal and child mortality rates. The event had in attendance officials of the Ministry of Health, Health Service Providers and a wide array of guests. Cabinet Ministers at the fundraising ceremony included Minister of Health who reiterated the necessity of providing constant support and assistance to hospitals that provide health service for the citizens residing throughout the nation. The Minister stated that Mohammed Adam Sheikh Hospital in close cooperation with the Ministry of Health achieved to provide medical coverage at no cost to children, mostly from poor family backgrounds who are otherwise unable to receive access to health coverage. The First Lady of Somaliland, Amina Waris Sheikh Mohammed Tirde, speaking at the ceremonial event, complimented attendees at the event for providing their contributions to the fundraising efforts undertaken by the government. The First Lady elaborated on the fundamental inevitability of further improving health coverage for free to children to reduce child mortality and ensure continued progress across the nation. For the duration of the fundraising ceremony, attendees pledged to contribute more than 282,000 USD to the fulfillment of objectives sought by the medical facility, which is the first medical clinic of its kind to operate in Somaliland. Deputy Mayor of Argeisa unveiled a new market constructed in Sheikh Musa Du'ala neighborhood on the outskirts of the Somaliland capital, Hargeisa. The Deputy Mayor of Hargeisa City, Abdul Aziz Mahmoud Hashi, speaking at the event, commended efforts of the people who took part in constructing the market, which will serve the residents in Sheikh Musa Du'ala neighborhood. This market is the first of its kind to be built in Sheikh Musa Du'ala neighborhood on the western outskirts of Hargeisa city, from which residents will be able to receive groceries and other essential items used in households. Deputy Mayor of Hargeisa city, Abdul Aziz Agawene, urged other citizens to follow suit and take part in the efforts at enhancing the appearance of the capital city, while dedicating more endeavors in ensuring progress on implementing essential services for the residents in Hargeisa city. You are still watching the English news on Somaliland National Television, the first Somali-speaking channel with an English news, and now for the main international headlines in detail. A 
ceasefire is proving difficult, but pro-Russian rebels and government forces have exchanged dozens of prisoners in eastern Ukraine, in line with the latest peace agreement brokered by France and Germany. The handover of 439 Ukrainian soldiers and 52 separatists will be seen as a success for this month's Minsk Accord. But away from the front line, amid accusations over non-respect of the deal, the United States and its European allies are in talks about harsher sanctions against Moscow. Kerry said that other options being considered by U.S. President Barack Obama included whether to arm Ukrainian forces. OSCE observers have now been able to access Debaltsev, that strategic town captured by rebels despite the ceasefire. The monitors said they heard artillery fire nearby as reports of truce violations continue. Despite claims that the rebels are set to begin withdrawing heavy weapons from the front line, Kiev fears the separatists now have the port city of Mariupol in their sight. An attack on Mariupol, a city of half a million people and potentially a gateway to Crimea, which Russia annexed last March, which almost certainly kill off the truth that aimed to end the 10-month-old conflict. Thousands turned out for a rally in Moscow to condemn the popular uprising in Ukraine's Maidan Square, which ousted pro-Russian President Viktor Yanukovych one year ago. Chanting the slogan, we won't forget, we won't forget, police say around 3,500. Chanting the slogan, we won't forget, we won't forgive, police say around 35,000 people attended the rally which was heavily promoted by state media. I'm here to support Russia indeed. Finally, maybe in the close future the war could come here. Of course, America supports all this, NATO as well. It's clear, I'm ready to go to war. But what war will it be? Asked one of the demonstrators. Banners carrying anti-EU, anti-NATO and anti-American slogans were also on display. That's it for this edition of our English News. Thanks very much for being with us. You can catch us at the same time tomorrow. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.